Well, hello again. This is going to be a quick little video. Here we have a new toy for the stable. Just picked this up today. This is a uh, 2002 Yamaha, Yamaha XT 225 tiny bike, but it's very light and it's 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 decent for uh, running around the trails. It's no heavy duty uh, enduro bike by no means, but um, you know it comes in about 245, so it's really really light, and I like that. It needs a bunch of little odds and ends before I really start uh, doing any trail riding. Um, I need a front tire. That's seen better days. The back tire is still okay. It's got a Dunlop 605, which is okay. Um, we're going to put new chains and sprockets. Uh, we'll probably go down to a 14 front chain, uh, front sprocket I mean. Uh, just definitely have to put on some, some decent size um, foot pegs because these are stock foot pegs and they're uh, you know they're atrocious um, we're gonna put new handlebars on because these are these are actually the stock handlebars which are junk um, I gotta put a new speedometer on it because that died and the previous guy was just using I already took it off he had a cell phone mount on here and he used the cell phone but I like to have a speedometer not I'm not worried about how fast I'm going because this bike you're not ever going fast but I like it for uh, recording my maintenance uh, you know intervals uh, how many miles for oil changes how many miles for this that or whatever and also you know that'll that's that's your gas gauge too um, these only hold a little over two gallons but I have one of those gallon roto pack things too um, so I'm not too worried about that some people put Clark tanks on these but um, I'm not going to bother with that because I actually put this on a trailer to take it to most, most of the OHV places. I'm not going to use this as a highway bike to get to the trails because it's just, it's not really a highway bike. You know, um, if, you're, if you're a real light person, guy or girl, that's like, you know, 140 pounds, well, maybe you have a chance of doing 75. But if you're... You know, like I'm, I'm 180 something, and if you're over 200, you're you're not going to make any land speed records as far as uh, you know on the road. But it, the bike is not designed for that. Um, and uh, so there's a bunch of mods that I want to do to it. There's a hillbilly rack on here. He had these uh, these dry bags here. Um, from Moose Racing. He had one of these saddlebags on each side, but I don't think I'm going to ride with saddlebags because uh, he actually did some camping uh, with this bike, but like I said, that's not what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take all of this homemade rack shit off and I got to lower this. I'll probably put a, a, a more of a trim kind of a tail lamp on that and then get this because this is a normal kind of a rack, but it's just up too high to accommodate his drive bags so we're going to redo this back end and uh, we'll put some hand guards on it after I get new handlebars uh, like I said new front tire we'll do all kind of routine you know oil change all that kind of stuff and check the brakes probably uh, probably a, a new uh, a lighter weight um, uh, battery um, this pipe, somebody took the spark arrestor out, so um, I might get a slip on something. I don't know yet. Um, I might. It runs okay. I don't think I have to. It's not a top priority to play with the carburetor, but at one point I will probably get into the carburetor and go up to a 130 main jet. Um, but as far as everything, you know, I'm not having any issues with the carburetor, so I'm a firm believer of leave well enough alone. But um, it, it, it just needs some TLC. Uh, like I said, sprockets, chains, um, new handlebars, maybe some fold-down mirrors. Um, but yeah, I uh, it's a great little bike for like, uh, you know, fire roads, uh, trails. I have a lot of trails around here in the woods. Um, 
I'll probably do uh, a suspension mod on the front because these forks are notorious very very soft so we'll probably chop about two inches off those put a spacer in it and put some um, heavier fork oil in it and that usually does a pretty cheap fix I'm not going to spend four hundred dollars on progressive springs and all that it, it's not worth it you're never going to make this a KTM or, or a Husky or something like that so you know why kid yourself but um, uh, being so light I mean you can throw this bike around uh, picking it up is like nothing and uh, for light trail kind of stuff it's okay you're not going to go you know 40 50 miles an hour on this like you can you know on other bikes but if you keep your you know if, if you keep it in with uh, what it's designed for it's 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 fun and um, so we have the Suzuki GS 500 that's for the street and um, I think you saw that in the last in the last video um, but we're going to take this uh, to a couple uh, a couple o OHV areas around here and uh, and uh, it is nice that it's street legal because then you can go on the fire service roads with no hassle from any of the rangers or whatever um, they do frown on on dirt bikes on fire service roads if they catch you um, but I'll probably put tags on this but like I said I don't really have any plans to you know drive this 50 or 100 miles to get the trails and then and then ride again uh, it's not gonna happen uh, just throw it on the trailer so maybe the next time uh, you'll see new bars you'll see hand guards you'll see a new front tire it'll be cleaned up and then uh, we'll, we'll we'll shoot some vids in the trails uh, so there you go that's the new toy